Tarn, the land of the Thunder Dragon, well known for its development philosophy of gross national happiness. Aside from hydropower and tourism, agriculture plays a key role in the Bhutanese economy, a source of income and livelihood for more than 55% of the Bhutanese population. In 2012, Bhutan embraced the ambitious goal of becoming the world's first 100% organic nation. Going organic means Bhutan will have to face certain challenges in its goal of being a fully organic country. Some of the major crops for Bhutan are maize, rice, barley, potato, oranges, apple, orchards, and mushrooms. Now, let's listen to some of the views of the people regarding organic agriculture. It's the people who are uh, worried about the health, you know, they would not mind uh, having uh, something that is good for the health. And since I come from city, uh, I know that I have been taking the chemically infused vegeta vegetables, yeah, we have not uh, the organic. Chemicals everywhere, in food and mostly food, food products. Mostly food products. It's all colored, dyeing agents, everything. So organic, definitely, if I have an opportunity or accessibility to get an organic food, I would go for an organic food rather than going for a chemically adulterated food. Bhutan was found to be the lowest user of chemical fertilizer in the world, which is estimated to be 31%. This situation offers enormous potential for promoting organic agriculture or farming both for increasing and substantial food production in order to safeguard food security and for increasing the farmer's income. Rice cultivation has already began in some fields of Paro. The cultivation of rice is different in different regions of the country. These cultivated rice will be fully grown in more than a hundred days from now. Another benefit of promoting organic agriculture is that it stimulates Bhutan as an organic brand. Use of agrochemicals can prove harmful to the water and environment of Bhutan. It makes sense for Bhutan to go organic as it is considered a strategy to make agriculture more sustainable as well as to preserve the country's rich biodiversity. Some amounts of chemicals were used by the farmers during the plantation of the seeds in order for the sapling to survive. The leftover parts of vegetables as well as fruits in certain cases are used as organic manure in the fields. As you see the leaves are uprooted and this cauliflower is a product of organic farming. In most part of Bhutan, animal waste is used as an organic fertilizer to help the plants grow. Organic agriculture can not only help the farmers but also help the country grow and aim towards its goal of self-sufficiency. It can also help increase the nutritional standard of the Bhutanese people. Bhutan is yet to achieve its goal of becoming a fully organic country. Although the dream may seem far-fetched, it is important for Bhutan to take small steps in order to get closer to its dream of being a 100% organic country. Agriculture has always been a way of life for the Bhutanese, which is associated with the value of closeness and togetherness, which displays a sense of unity. More than the happiness of a people, it is about the happiness 
of our environment and our water as well as our animals. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you like the message which our video conveyed. So, rather than becoming uh, organic by default, just <laughs> and adoption of organic farming will also contribute towards health and as well as conservation of environment. Therefore, let's promote the town as organic brand to the rest of the world.